this year is coming to an end and 2024 is just around the corner. With the year ending, I want to summarize a few things, but I also want to ask a question. What did you learn? No, I, I don't mean it in a kind of like children educational video, I'm not that kind of guy. What I mean as a genuine question for the skills and achievements you had this year. What did you learn? Was it fun? I myself reflected on the videos that I've been making from last year and I realized that I learned a lot. If you look back on my first video, updates and future plans, that video was entirely unplanned, not scripted, there was no structure and the quality is questionable at best. I mean, the background looks creative, but it doesn't change, nothing moves beside the little bobbing of the little character. It, it, it isn't the best that I've done and um... But it clearly was something. It was a start. I didn't think that I would get anywhere far. It was more like an experiment. More of something I would invest just a little bit of time on. But I had a mindset change this year. Now content creating to me is something that is super fun to do. And I have a lot of fun planning things, having ideas, putting them on my board, and just watching them create something. Watching myself create something. It's a lot of fun just keeping up the motivation. But on that note, I also wanted to speak about a letter to time. I'm really sorry to everyone who wants the next episode to come out. It's just that it has become more work than fun and it quickly became worse with every episode. I thought that I could take on the challenge of basically speedrunning the stages that Afma used in her first videos. Uh, with her starting by herself, then it's slowly becoming more interactive and more interactive. This is the kind of structure that I wanted to go with. Start with the world and then slowly make it more interactive. But I realized doing that is a lot of work. And I have even more respect when it comes to anyone who did this kind of content or like this kind of style of content not just Afma, I know a few German content creators on the Minecraft community have done that years ago a mad respect to anyone who did that and did not have a loss of motivation so I learned a lot about creating videos and I I learned a lot about making things by myself and I'm not going to abandon a letter to time. I'm not, definitely not going to abandon it. I never just let my ideas dust somewhere. Well, maybe a little bit of dust can gather, but I will generally come back to it, either revamp it or entirely recycle the ideas into something new. I had so much fun world building and all these unique characters that were going to show up way later into the story. I'm not going to abandon it, but I don't know how to continue it as well. I should have taken more time. I should have started slower, proceeded slower, but I wanted to be fast. I wanted, I wanted things to just continue and go and keep going and it didn't stop. That was it on A Letter to Time. Thank you for your understanding. And I definitely don't want this project to come in between me and content creating or me and my channel or anything like that. Going into next year, I want to focus on having fun and learning new things in a slower pace. On that note, see you all next year, have fun!